Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, March 19th, 2020, and on Thursday, that means it's Pioneer League Day. So let's take a look at the drop. Uh, we saw the metagame yesterday, so I kind of want to look more at the decks that did not show up in the preliminary results last week and kind of take a closer look at those and uh, see what did well the last half week. So, all right, we got today's dump. We have how many decks in that dump? We have 33 decks today, so let's take a look. Our first one is Hardened Scales, Green Black Scales. Uh, this was a big one early in the format. Good to see it making a little bit of a comeback here. Um, pretty straightforward, lots of counter synergies, walk, Windy Constrictor, Hardened Scales to get more counters. Ballista is a good uh, finisher along with Hydra. Uh, ooze to... Uh, for the graveyard hate, rich car for the mana. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward deck. Soul Guide Lantern in the side for a little more graveyard hate. Push Charm for removal. Yep, solid deck. And here we've got Niv Mizzet. Uh, a full four and four on the Bring to Light and Niv Mizzet. We're running Vraska Golgari Queen in the main in this build. Running a couple of geese and a couple caryatids. No paradise druids in this one. And slaughter games main. Hour of devastation for a sweeper. Thought erasure and thought sees in the main deck. Uh, Enter the god eternals here. Uh, we talked about this last time. This can get hit by um, mystical dispute. So. Not every build's running Enter the God Eternals right now, but it's really good against red decks. And if you're facing... I mean, this against the Tor brand is fantastic, right? So, uh, yeah. niv is it. Uh, what's in our sideboard here? Any uh, Shifting Ceratops for blue decks. Questing Beast for Planeswalkers. Silumgar's Command. Don't see that very often. Another Vraska Golgari Queen, an Hour of Devastation. Tamio in the side. I like it. A little more grindy, and this is definitely a grindy deck. All right, C. Newman, nice, nice build there. Zygmund, what we got? We've got Mono White uh, Heliod, the combo deck. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death. Force Stasis Snare. I like that. I have not seen that very often. That That's a good one for your uh, Nykthos, definitely. Getting your Heliods online. Yep. Mono white, mono white Heliod. And here we have, what do we have here? We've got green Eldrazi, green Stompy. Green Eldrazi. Yep, Heart of Kieran, Thought Not Seer, Reality Smasher, uh, Ronus. Yep, um, a little bit of blue in the side uh, for Stubborn Denials. So this is sort of Simic Stompy. Um, no Uros, which I find a little interesting, but there you go. Uh, Clothus Gruel. Uh, the last time I played Paper Pioneer, I played this deck, and it was a lot of fun. Um, this is slightly different than my deck. I had three Gallias. They have one. I didn't have any Dryad Militants, and I think that's... Uh, I didn't have Voltaic Brawlers either. But pretty straightforward. Nice uh, nice aggro deck that's a little bit bigger than the mono red deck. And Kadun. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, this is this is the big green blue green stompy, right? We've got Uro, we've got World of Breaker, Ugin. This is kind of blue green ramp almost. Yeah. Hydroid Crisis, Golos. This is more of a ramp deck. Immercool, The Promised End. Uh, this is going to go over the top of a lot of things. Uh, and enough creatures that spot removal is probably not good enough. Uh, relying on sweepers to take it down. This is Pilgrimage to help ramp. Um, powerful deck. Powerful deck. You can get under it. Uh, you can control over it. But this is close to King of Midrange. Uh, vampires. And 
mono black, no white this time. So pretty straightforward. Drill bits, thought seizes, etc. Uh, Orzov Auras, anything unusual in this one? Not that I see. Looks straightforward. Brain Maggot. Is that, you might see Brain Maggot a little more. Here, that's a good card. Um, Laser Beam is bringing us another green Stompy deck. This one is pure green. We've got no blue. So this is just green Devotion. Uh, with Yorvo, Steel Leaf Champion, trying to ramp out Galta as quickly as possible. Um, Aspect of Hydra. Oh, man. The, so I came back to the game for Born of the Gods. Um, I had been away since uh, Mirage or so. Um, long time away. Um, first standard tournament I played back then, I found this list... Um, that the author Ian Anderson, I believe, called uh, Charging Badger Hidden Hydra. And it was a Charging Badger Aspect of Hydra Green Devotion deck, and oh, I had fun with that deck. It was not very good, but I had a lot of fun with it. So I, I am very sentimental about the card Aspect of Hydra. All right. Sola, so, Solaic 0501. This is the Lotus Field combo deck. Yep, it is the Lotus Field combo deck. There you go. Uh, expect to see it in larger tournaments. This is Kethis combo. Of course, with Amory Diligent Excavator, etc. Mox Ambers. Uh, Uros. Yeah. So another combo. Graveyard recycling combo deck here with Kethis. And we've got green, a uh, green devotion deck here. Burning Tramissary, Elvis Mystic. This one, a little lower to the ground. Uh, oh, this is sorry, just misreading things. Walking right over it here. This is the Green Walkers deck. Um, three Wolf Hello Haven, not four. Um, yeah. So uh, this is definitely one of the up and coming decks. Uh, tier. One ish right now, uh, or tier one and a half ish, but uh, definitely improving. Uh, in Seoul, is it in Seoul? Yes, it is. I'll do that joke every time, get used to it. Um, yeah, straightforward build here. Uh, two Hope of Gear, poor one Emery. You don't always see Emery in this list, but it is helpful. Two Overseer and four Stone Coil Serpent. That's a good card. Snow Air brings us Feather. I love the Feather deck. Uh, I think I said before, this was the first deck I built in paper for Pioneer. And had a lot of fun with it. Um, might try bringing it back at some point when we get to play paper tournaments again. Um, yeah, fun deck. I've, I've got more uh, appetite for playing decks than I have opportunities to play them since I don't play on Magic Online. Um, but I need to fix that. Okay, Vampires. Again, this one's black-white. This is a little bit bigger. It goes up to Blood Baron. Um, Vanguard Kalidus. Yeah, this is a little bit bigger than the mono black vampire deck we saw earlier, but just a different take on it. If you want a little bit of the flexibility that white, particularly for sideboard cards, can give you. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, mono green devotion. No, this one's not devotion. This one is... This is... Golgari Stompy. Yep. Golgari Stompy. You know it, you love it. It's it's tier 2 right now. Um, but yeah, if you can get out of turn 3 Galta, you're usually in good shape. Uh, Hope of 130 brings us Mono Black Aggro with 3 Rankles and all the usual cast of characters. Kalidus in the side. Aetherborn in the side. Um, yeah, mono black aggro. Uh, right about at the same level in the metagame as Golgari Stompy. What does Mark Chalice have for he us here? This is a mono red aggro. Uh, kind of red green aggro, just for Atarka's command. So an Atarka aggro deck. Uh, small stuff attacking quickly. Uh, wants to get you dead, wants to play your games fast. This deck wins fast, this deck loses fast. 
um, Rimrock Swift Spear. You could call this Prowess, I guess. Yeah. Atarka Prowess. Something like that. The Butter Merchant brings us Spirits, Spant Spirits. And this is a pretty straightforward build. Expect to see this in any any paper event. Somebody's going to have it. This is one of the top four decks in the metagame right now. We're back again with another in soul deck. This one's up on three Emery's. Uh, slightly di different mana base here. A little bit different approach. But basically the same idea of making artifact creatures that are bigger than your opponents can deal with. So, yep. Uh, if you're looking for an insole build, compare this one to your other. Rex 51515 has a good one there. Uh, Willy Buzz, Willy Buzz with Sultai Delirium. And do I see anything unusual in this list? Looks straightforward. Asker Girl on the side. Only one Murderous Rider. That feels low to me. But if you're expecting to face combo decks, I can see shaving that. Um, yeah. Salty Delirium. Um, right near the bottom of the tier below Demir Inverter, um, this is the Jund of the format, so it's always going to be around. Um, the people that you play at your LGS that play Jund and Modern are probably playing this deck in Pioneer because it scratches the exact same itch. All right, Blue Magic Time is not playing Blue. This is a lie. This is this is closer to the Clothis uh, Gruel Aggro deck that I played. Um, I didn't have Fire Drinker Satyrs, but I had nearly everything else, and again. Fun deck, different, slightly different twist on it. This is a little more boom bust because of the Fire Drinker Satyrs. Um, that's a risky card because it hurts you as much as it hurts them. So you're trying to get them dead faster. Um, but yeah, um, if you like pushing creatures sideways, this is a good deck for you. Uh, Zephra brings us Mono White. And this is is this this is mono white humans I think, knight human 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 human, except for the loxodon but it's just growing all your other humans. So yeah, this is a mono white humans deck, um, not quite the same level or actually nowhere close to the same level of disruption as the modern version. So this one is just trying to be an aggro deck, and uh, with Boros Elite and Benelish Marshall, th this can this can threaten people very quickly. Um, this one is probably more all-in on the aggro plan than the Gruel decks that we've seen that can do a little bit more interaction. Uh, what do we got here? We have... Is this Demir Control? This looks like Demir Control. Days Undoing... Oh, this is a Days Undoing Narset deck. Okay. Yeah, I think I talked about this one. Nuke Launch, uh, side eyes at you for playing this. This is miserable to play against, but it's an option if you like making your opponents miserable. Uh, Ryu, Ryu 2N, Ryu 2N, there's probably a pun here that I'm not noticing, is playing Unexpected Results. Well, this is interesting. What do we got here? So unexpected results, you shuffle the top of your library, or shuffle your library, reveal the top card. If it's non-land, you get to cast it for free. If it's a land, it goes on the battlefield, and you get this back in your hand. And it's a four-mana spell. So what are they trying to cast for free? They're trying to cast Ulamog. They're trying to cast Nissa, which will ramp into things, but they're really trying to cast Emrakul here. And you get to cast it, so you get the cast triggers. Um... And just 32 lands, that is quite something. But then you get your unexpected results back if it's a land. So, yeah, you're going to want to be heavy on lands in this deck. Um, Courser in the side, I think, for grindier matchups or removal light matchups. This is going to help you know what's on the top. Help you with a little life. It's a good blocker. Um, 
that's yeah that's an interesting deck big old Ugans yeah this is it, this is kind of like the polymorph decks in modern where you're basically just trying to get something big off the top of your library or from from near the top of your library um, the clever yeah it's probably a glass cannon, which is why you don't see it very often. If that gets countered, it's a sad day for you, right? Uh, this is Blue-White Spirits. Or the Rally of Wings. This is going mostly on the aggro plan here. This is similar. No, this is, this is just flying aggro. Uh, Blue-White Flyers is an old, old archetype. It's been around since the early days, and that's what this is doing. Curious Obsession for more cards. Rally of Wings to really get them dead. Um, I play a cheap standard version of this on Arena, and uh, it wins games. Uh, it's not great. It wins games. This is going to be stronger. You've got a car larger card pool to pull from. But, uh, yeah, Blue-White Flyers. If you like that kind of thing, give it a shot. Um, Mono-Red Aggro. Torbran. Soulscar Mage, Hazaret, Rhett, lots of goblins. Have you seen what a Chain Whirler does with Torbrand on the field? It is not pretty. Yeah. Uh, here's your Mono Red deck. Lots of aggro in today's lists, it seems. A little more than I expect. Uh, we've got another Days Undoing Narset deck here. Myth realized in this one. Um... Yeah, this is just another blue-white combo, more Planeswalker-focused, restrict their resources and kill them with an odd kill condition in Myth Realized here. Um, getting an ally of Zendikar is good at, at um, stabilizing and then turning the corner. Getting into the Trials is helping not die against Inverter, which we haven't seen yet. I'm sure we will. Uh, Mr. Dynamite. That's a good deck. I hope I never face you. Damien M. has a blue-white... Okay, so this is a blue-white Heliod. Which is a little interesting. Ojutai. So we're blue for Spell Queller, Ojutai, and Teferi. And Mystical Dispute. Yeah, so I think this is the deck that's showing up as white parentheses blue devotion on Goldfish when they name decks. Um, it's mostly a white devotion deck, the Heliod Walking Ballista combo, um, but it's splashing blue for some pretty good, um, just good cards to help you get to your combo. Ojitai anticipates when it hits. Um, Spell Coiler stops things that you don't like. Teferi bounces things you don't like, draws you cards. Um, yeah, that's a nice uh, controly version of the Heliot combo deck. And here's Inverter. Uh, three Thassa's Oracle, four Jace. And then it's a Demir control deck after that. Gold Ducat got the lucky straw for getting his list published this time. Um, yeah, that's Inverter. That's Tier 0. Uh, H. Gondolon, Gondolon with... What do we got here? This is a Jeskai Ascendancy Underworld Breach deck. Um, interesting. Sylvan Awakening. Carry added. This is basically just what they were trying to do with Jeskai Ascendancy a while back and hoping it works. Are, what are you killing with? You're killing with Expansion Explosion, it looks like. Just casting that over and over. We've got no man lands. Our only creatures are Karyatids. Yeah. So it's trying to kill with Expansion Explosion. Obviously did it enough to get listed. I couldn't play a deck like this. 
Maybe I could after having somebody handhold me through my first 10 games to get used to how it works. Benny Hills with Blue White Control. Um, yep, Blue White. This one's very, very Walker heavy um, versus uh, Counter Spell heavy. But uh, four verdicts, lots of Walkers, and yeah, Blue White Control. GNT with another blue white control deck. This is the last deck in our list. And this one is more, yeah, I mean, you can tell the difference, right? 15 walkers versus 7, 19 instants versus 8. Um, this is much more traditional control deck where this is more blue white walkers. But uh, yeah. So that's it for today. Um, we've found a few f spicy things. The unexpected results deck was kind of cool. Um, good to see scales back and a couple of others. Uh, but that's about it, and we will be back tomorrow with a look at Modern. Uh, take care of yourself, and we will talk soon.